Hey guys, Resource Cuber, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom Rubik's Magic. So to start off, let's go over the supplies. You're going to need a magic that you want to customize, a front and a back that you want to put in it. The front part is 603 by 302 pixels. And the back is 450 by 450 pixels. And when you're making it, you want to make sure to leave a box in the top without anything in it. Because that will be cut out when the magic is done. You're also going to need some tape. I like this stuff because it comes off really easily. And some scissors. So for the first step, we need to cut this up. Now, there's a few ways to do this. We need to cut it down the middle in half, and then three cuts right here to put it into four. So we have eight in total. So what we can do is give it a little fold, or we can measure it, but the heel ID here. So then we have it the halfway there. So now that you have both halves marked, we can just mark it with the ruler. Now that we have that, now we can just cut it in half. And once you're done cutting out the front, then you can start cutting out the back. So once you've got the back and the front cut out, we're ready for the hardest part. So for the next step, you want to put a little piece of tape on each piece making sure not to cover up the strings and label it A through H on the front and then solve it and on the back label it 1 through 8 then you're going to want to take your front pieces and your back and looking here we see the first one is A so that piece is going to be A, and on the back of A is an upside down 3. So then we're going to take the back, 1, 2, this is the third piece, then we're going to want to get it so it's upside down and put that on the back of A. You can just use a little bit of glue. It doesn't have to be perfect. Lead glue together because the tiles will hold it together. And then we'll go to B. And on the back of B is a 6. So then we'll go to number 6. And put that on the back of B. Then just keep doing that for the rest of it until you're done. So now that you have them all glued together, you're going to want to take your magic and you want to de-string it. Which you can, you want to be careful not to break any strings, but if you just grab under in a corner, probably the easiest way. So once you have the strings off of the tiles, you just want to take them apart. Get rid of the old one, and then put your new one in. I'll put a link in the description on a video of how you can re restring it. Just keep doing that for all of them. Alright, I'm done stringing it, and it turned out pretty good. 
you can see here is the front, and then you shelve it, and the back. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button, and if you haven't, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.